So today we're gonna take you on a tour of Park County's best covered bridges. I'm Mike. And we're Life Rerouted. I'm a travel nurse. We travel full time in an RV. And right now we're back in our home state of Indiana. Now I'm actually from Park County, Indiana, so I'm a little proud of it. But something that it is known for is it is the covered bridge capital of the world. Allegedly. We say it is. I don't know if it technically is. It's a self title, I think. Yeah. So we're actually starting in Rockville, Indiana, which is Steph's hometown. And right behind us is the Visitor Center. The Visitor Center is a good place to start because they have all kinds of guides and pamphlets for the covered bridges. And actually it's all closed because of COVID, I believe, but they have left the pamphlets outside. So if you do decide that you wanna check out the covered bridges, you can just stop in the parking lot here and grab the pamphlets right outside of the door. Definitely stop and grab one of those maps because there are 31 bridges, but they are spread out through the entire county. Now, they have mapped them out and made up different routes. There's five routes, each about 30 miles long, that you can drive and see the covered bridges. They're color coordinated. They're black, yellow, brown, red, and blue. Now, throughout the routes, there are little signs with arrows on them that direct you, but it's handy to grab one of the maps to see which way you wanna go. Today, we're not gonna follow one of the routes. We're just kinda hit our highlights and show you the different bridges. So, come along with us. Behind us is Bridgeton Bridge, and behind it is Bridgeton Mill. This is one of the most iconic bridges in Park County. It's 245 feet long. It actually is the newest bridge in Park County, and it was rebuilt in 2006. Unfortunately, a few years ago, somebody set it on fire, actually. So, so Max was just telling us that he just remembered it, too. We have two helpers today. Our nephews, Max and Dylan, you guys can come over here. This is Max, and you actually probably saw Dylan in our video on the Indianapolis Canal, who barely fits in frame here. So they're here to help us today to talk to you guys about the bridges of Perk County, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. Can I tell them something? Yeah. yeah. Well, my uncle told me that they, that bridge used to be big enough to drive combine for us. Oh, oh. there you go. Fun facts by Max. <laughs> so on the other side of the Bridgeton covered bridge is the Bridgeton Mill, which is still in operation. They no longer use the water from the creek. Now they have an old trolley motor that they use, but they still produce their own flour. It's all preservative free and it's for sale right here. They also have Steph's favorite pastime, ice cream and hamburgers and cheeseburgers, stuff like that for lunch if you wanna stop here for lunch. Another thing about Bridgeton is this is a really small town, but during the Covered Bridge Festival, which we'll talk about a little bit later, this is probably the most popular spot. There's all these buildings behind me that just look like empty buildings. It looks like a ghost town here. But in October, this turns into a completely different place. It's full of vendors, people. People come from all over the country to check out the Cover Bridge every year. And this is probably the biggest spot. Now that we've had lunch, we're gonna go to our next spot, which is the Mansfield Cover Bridge, which isn't too far from here. So 
So we're in Mansfield, Indiana. We're checking out the Mansfield Cover Bridge, which is right behind us. It looks very similar to the Bridgeton Cover Bridge, but I believe it's longer. It 247 looks longer. 247 feet long. 247 feet long. There's also a mill here and a short waterfall. There's some people swimming over here enjoying their day. Now this is, it looks like the city or the little town here is completely closed. Again, like when the a bridge, ghost town. Like a ghost town. When the bridge fest isn't here. It looks like maybe there's an old antique store that's normally open in the summer, but they're closed right now, assuming because of COVID. Mansfield, like Bridgeton, is one of the most popular places during the Cover Bridge Festival. So if you want to come here and just enjoy the water or see the bridge or the mill, definitely come off season. But again, in October, this place blows up. It looks like a ghost town, like Mike said right now. But during the Bridge Festival in October, it's crazy. Mansfield Covered Bridge, you can actually drive over what you just did with the truck a little bit ago. I haven't done that too many times. But makes him a little nervous. Yeah. Driving a truck over an old bridge always makes you a little bit nervous. It's about 150 years old, so. Yeah. Another one of our favorites is Mecca Bridge. It was built in 1873 by J.J. Daniels. It's 150 feet long, and a little interesting fact about it is that there is a one-room schoolhouse that was built in 1874 where they actually had school here in Mecca. So just outside of Rockville, Indiana, is the West Union Covered Bridge. This is the longest bridge in Park County. How long is it? 315 feet. 315 feet, and it was built in? 1876 by J.J. Daniels. Oh man, he is just quick with the fun facts for you guys. So a lot of people enjoy their summer days swimming in Sugar Creek at the bottom of this bridge. On the side of this, I noticed a uh, year 1914, and there's a bunch of names here. Don't know the history behind that, but at the very end of the bridge, you can see that. It's pretty cool. As you mentioned earlier, there are five routes through Park County to see the covered bridges. We would recommend the black route. You can see Mansfield and Bridgeton, as you saw in the video today, but there's also three other bridges along that route but any of them are good for a day's drive just out to see them. They're all, like I said, about 30 miles long, so definitely plan time accordingly. You could spend days seeing all the bridges in Bart County. <laughs> yeah, we spent the majority of the day today just showing you guys our favorites, so we wouldn't recommend going and seeing these in the way that we saw them. We just wanted to show you our favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for following along with our little adventure today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do get a chance to get out and see some of these bridges, let us know down below what was your favorite one. There are 31 in the county, like we said, and we didn't get to see most of them today, but we did get a chance to show you some of our favorites. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe to follow along with our adventures if you want, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for following all... <laughs> Quiet on the set. <laughs> Drone shot. Drone shot. It's gonna be so epic. Wait, I found a geocache. And Max found a geocache. Yeah, it's a cigarette. Geocache. Geocache. I found a souvenir on the ground. Do not touch that.